Hello, hello, what's up YouTube? In this video I will show my farming strategy for 3.16 farming on standard and then a full tier 1 park map gameplay with 61 sticks link drops, which means that a few of them had to stay in the map forever as they didn't fit in the inventory. As I mentioned, this is a standard league strategy with high investment and it may not be suitable for temporary leagues where lower investment mapping may be more effective. By the way, if you haven't seen it yet, my new Magic Find build guide video is live now. Ok, let's start. My farming region is Glenak Cairns and I explained which passives I took in this region and why in a separate video that is published on my channel. On the Uncharted Realms main atlas tree I only need 6 points as I'm farming low tier maps. Secrets of the Stones for 25% increased effect of Watchstone modifiers, Close Allies for one additional Atlas mission from each master each day and an increased chance to get Atlas mission on map completion, and Enduring Influence for plus one use of Sextant modifiers. Maps that I play are 8 modded corrupted maps with Beyond mod on them and Monster Pack over 35%. I prefer tier 1 to tier 5 maps as my character is extremely focused on IAQ. Map device mode is beyond. Daily mission is always Alva. The prophecy is Valwins, but it's only good for easy layout maps like Park, Tropical Island or Port. I think it's the most effective prophecy. It's time consuming but it's really rewarding. If you wanna play more complicated layout maps like Palace or Karst Crypt, then probably Valwins is not the best idea and I would use Plague of Frogs, Plague of Rats or one of the Tempest prophecies for increased IAQ and IAR. Watchstones are unique watchstones. Misinformation, Booming Populous, War Among the Stars and Territories Unknown. I don't use any magic watchstones as I think that unique ones are much stronger. They are also much more expensive but as you will see in the map, I think they are worth these 61 6 links drops. If you don't wanna invest that much into misinformation which is 15x plus right now, you can replace it with a magic watchstone, but I strongly recommend using misinformation as it really increases the map IQ. My sextant mods are Beyond Monsters, Unique Monsters Drop Corrupted Items, 500% IQ of Strongbox Monsters and Hunted Traitors. If I somehow manage to get a nice Beyond and Nemesis mod map, then I would replace the Hunted Traitor's Sextant with the Nemesis Currency mod. Scarabs are Gilded Bridge, Gilded Reliquary, Gilded Ambush and Rusted Elder. I use the Rusted Elder ones because it adds the same amount of Elder portals as the Gilded ones, so there's no difference. If you don't wanna use the Reliquary one for more unique items, then the Gilded Harbinger should be the best choice. The drops were really crazy and much bigger than in 3.15 and actually I realized that I forgot to allocate the Uncharted Realms passives after the patch so I didn't even have secrets of the stones for 25% increased watchstone modifiers and the drops could be even bigger. This is pretty much it. Now I'll show the map gameplay, all of the loot will be shown at the video end. As you will see, at the last portal few of the six links had to stay on the map because of no room in the inventory. Thanks for watching, I hope that you'll enjoy the rest of the video and please consider subscribing for more. See you! to that just yet. Pruning a branch can save a tree.
just in time. Ah, there you are. Let's go. I'm not up to that just yet.
mana is gone. yet. That would only slow me down. My mana is gone.
good day.